name is Mauro Vasconcelos and I'm here today to show you guys how I usually color my drawings. That is, using normal color pencils. So I have this drawing here today, the one that I posted sev several days ago on DeviantArt. And I'm going to show you the steps of, of the process, how I usually color. So um, I hope you enjoy and if you have any questions, just send me a message. I'll be glad to help you, okay? So let's go! Hey guys, what's up? This is my first color pencils lesson and I'd like to show you a few tips on how to color especially skin and the, the tones you have to use here just using a few pencils like the white, the pink, brown and others um, the tip here is how you use to blend them together to mix all the colors so uh, I'll try to, to make them my first lesson here so I can explain how to color all the, the skin here and also of course later on paint all the rest of the drawing itself and finish well, for my drawing, the first part to get started before anything else is to prepare an extra sheet of paper like this so you can put under your hand so your hand won't get moisture on your drawing and ruin the colors or peel the sheet of paper itself, see? So I usually get paper like this and I just fold just so I can use it while drawing and my hand won't touch, won't touch the drawing but don't worry that I don't use the left hand, I use the right so let's go. Okay, so starting with the pink, this is the first color we are going to use. Just need to add the first tones as lightly as possible, just to show where the areas are, where we want the, the, the pink parts. And already separating the light areas so we, we can use later, like this. Okay, in this case I want the light to come from the left, right here. So I, I don't know if you can see here, I, I left some white areas here, some other here on the chin, on the side, you see? These areas we can, we, can, we can barely see now, but later in the future in the drawing we are going to add some shadows and these are going to pop out of the, the sheet of paper. So, keep it on. Okay, so um, we have our fairy all colored in pink. Now it's time to change. For this one, beige, beige. I don't know how it's spelled this in English, but this is the color. It's the mix between the yellow and brown. Yeah, it's like mustard, you see? So this is the color that I use. <clears throat> so now what I'm going to make is, I'm going to add another layer of color, exactly from the same pressure I used with the pink, all over again, from tops. And of course, avoiding the, the areas where I didn't put anything, so leave the areas where the whites are here, here, here. There are lots of places, little details here, that are going to, to make up for the, the, the lightings later. So let's go. All over again. No secrets here. You, you won't need to push the pencil here, just make low short strokes not too much pressure just to cover if you do this you should have a mix between the pink and this beige that should almost be the tone of skin that we are looking for not yet the final one of course but it's the beginning Now you see how, how I'm avoiding this area here, this white part. Yeah, this is the light that I want. So we have to pay attention not to go over it, or else we won't give it a good impression that there is light in the scene. The same here, the border. I don't want this to be colored too. 
So I'll work my pencils around. Okay, now finished with the two first layers. There's something that I'd like to tell you about some special effects. Like when you have the, the, the space that you want and you add the pink and you leave some space here, like this. And then you come with the mustard, the beige. You, you add the other layer there, like this, see? Leaving this degradé, this shading here. It's a line, like this. These are the neighbor dogs. Terrible, isn't it? Now it's a good, good chance to add some special effects on the borders, for example. Making the pink real thick disappearing into the white and the opposite on the other side too. Real hard and disappearing on the other side. That leaves here, the center, a real interesting area, like a, a flash. See? Later on when we cover this entire area, these borders here will make a braid effect. Like, it, it's not sharp, like, like this. No, it's smooth. So this is what we want, this effect here, not this. Okay? Alright, back to the drawing. Now that we've finished with the two first layers, it's time to use the white. Well, the white pencil on my coloring style, I use it a lot because it's a good blender, it's a good way of mixing colors together. So I have lots of kinds of whites from all sorts of brands there. But in our case we're going only going to use the normal Faber-Castell one. I think it's the same one as Prisma Colors, that's the same that I have here. Works the same way, okay? So, um, what we should do? Just the basics, let's just make circles. Strong pressure circles, like this. Because we are blending the colors together. By doing this, we are getting a totally new color something real cool and it's going to be smooth I don't know if you can see here but here you go there's a difference between this one and this one so keep doing this 